Okay, I am to report. I couldn't report it. It's irritating. Um, I'm standing in here, okay? It's level four DB. I'm not describing that anymore. And it was here for like 20 minutes out of nowhere, right up here in the center of the extra room. It was horrible. I'm breathing through my mouth in here. <sighs> Every time I went in that room, they turned the TV on, off, on, off. Every fucking time, like fucking schizos. I, I made it clear what they were doing with me in the main room and the extra room and the TV blasting so fucking loud on this just violent thriller, heavy bass blah, 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 movie the whole time and the dead bodies coming in here and I can't say a fucking word. And then I go in there, finally in my green light time, there's a kill over my fucking head. I was surprised about that, but I knew there was gas coming in. So now I'm not surprised that one got killed either from the gas or for using it. And then right away, I couldn't film it in time. Um, one came running in to get to the body, all this heavy clink, 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 clink sounds and th thum, boom, boom of a dead body moving it around. Um, I don't got to tell you any of this. This shit's all under surveillance. So how long does this go on for, dude? And don't forget, public, I never talk about the military, okay? So I'm a little irritated, but I'm not irritated at the people saving my life. All right, so then what I can witness down here, uh, there was one up there just sitting, lurking like they do, and then the other female comes down, makes massive statements in the middle of all this heinous fucking crime. Now the fucking DB doesn't stink in here anymore. And thank you, if it was you, good military, for taking out the one fucking gassing me. All right, bye.